Tonight at 7 p.m., class 3 tomorrow at 11, and class 1 tomorrow at 1 p.m. Coaches, you guys got any questions? No, sir. Good luck. Good luck. You guys don't want to hear from me. You guys heard all about sportsmanship, right? Don't do anything that's going to embarrass yourself or team or your town, right? White, you're the visitor today. You're going to call this nice and loud in the air. You're going to repeat what he calls. If the wind catches it and I drop it, we're going to start over, okay? What's your call? You caught it. You called heads. Everybody agree? It is heads. Kick receive defender to first. We're going to take a quick This way. Come here, 70, whatever you are, okay? White wanted. it. We're going to get it down here. Hey, men, play hard. Get it Furrow Field, Class 2 State Championship ball game. Be sure with tandem receivers to the left side. Single receiver right. Double wing formation. Be sure is going to keep it himself. Running left, cuts it up, gets the first down as he gets inside the 25 down to about the 23 yard line. And uh, there on the tackle for the Falcons. And uh, that was uh, Justin Ketting, the sophomore, six foot one, 250 pounds. As Parker Bennett, as I said, has been in and out of the lineup for the Falcons. Uh, so be sure now, first and 10 from the 21 yard line. Moves a man in motion, fake the give to the man in motion, and Bishore is going up the middle, he's gonna score. I mean Bishore right down Broadway, scores from 21 yards out, and Lamar takes the early lead as the young quarterback, the senior, the three-year starter, goes into the end zone, Joel Bishore will be Jose Juarez. Snap is back, the straight on kicker, kicks it high, long, and good. 7-10 to play in the first quarter. It's Lamar 7, Blair Oaks nothing on MidmostSportsOnline.com. We'll return to Faro Field and the Class 2 State Championship after this ball, after this timeout. And so it'll be first down and 10 for Lamar from their own 35-yard line is where they mark the football. The junior, be sure the quarterback on the second and short takes the ball himself and runs it up the middle. Gets chopped down as he comes out across the 45 to about the 48-yard line. It's going to be a first down. Holding Brand on the tackle there for the Falcons. But good, be sure a gain of two yards and a first down. So far, the Falcons have been unable to get any penetration from their uh, front seven. Second down and one. Will hide in motion left to right, and here's an inside handoff to the running back who goes down. Going to be, I don't know, it's going to be very close to the first down as they tried Austin Wilkerson around the right side. Falcons were there to cut him down. Leading the tacklers were Kerprin along with that, that's a first down. Carson Lubring, and it is. Will Heights in a now in a flexed out in a wing to the left side. As they hand as they snap it to Bishore, and Bishore runs forward. Not much there as uh, he's cut down by that 14-year-old freshman. Yes, he is at 14. Carson Lubring on the tackle of uh, Bishore and a gain of about two yards on the play. Now bring up second 23. Falcons really need a defensive stand here, kind of get, like I said, trying to get that uh, momentum back on their side a little bit. Flexed outside the tackle. Googie is in the wing to the left. They have a running back in the backfield as the quarterback reverse pivots and keeps it himself, dives forward for about three yards. Nothing more on the play as once again the Falcons are there. Blaha and Bennett on the tackle for the Falcons. And here we might see the first pass attempt by the Tigers. They've been able to do it pretty much on the ground, but uh, big third down for Blair Oaks. Quarterback has uh, two running backs in the backfield with him now, now just one as uh, they spread the formation. Be sure the quarterback. They have two quarterbacks in there now, and here's the snap to one. The ball. the ball is pitched behind the running back, and the Falcons fall on it back at the 45-yard line of Lamar. Not 
sure what Lamar was doing there. Yeah, they were trying to run an option to the right side and pitched it and threw it well behind the running back and falling on it. Bryson Varner back at the 45 yard line. Yeah, I said the Falcons need something big on that third down and they sure got it. Uh, Ty Wilhite threw tight end in motion and tried to pitch it to him and missed it. I wonder, Dick, if they were maybe trying to run some kind of an option play. Hare trying to get to the quarter on first down, runs it outside, gets it out of bounds, and they'll mark him out of bounds at the 41-yard line, give him a gain of four yards on first down. Five for the Falcons, Hare with the pitch to the right side, Lackman down the sideline, dives, and he's going to be very close to the first down, and they will get him the first down inside the 35-yard line. First and ten for the Falcons, Hayden Lackman, six yards. And the freshman the carry. Maybe try and look for something like a short slant or something like that across the middle. Try and get some yardage. Get something to break up that defense. From the short, from the far hash mark here, a quick out to Weber. Weber makes the catch and steps out of bounds inside the 30, and they will mark him out at the 27-yard line and give him a gain of eight yards on the play. That'll bring a third down and short now for the Falcons. They might want to... This, the, the way they might want to attack this is to go short and sweet and just try and get what they can on the passing game and also with some runs. On third down and two, Lackman will line up behind Hare out of the pistol look. Now they move Lackman in motion out to the left side. They fake it to him, and Hare's going to keep it himself. He's got running room to the 25, spins, breaks a tackle, near sidelines, 20, and pulled down by Will Hyde at the 15-yard line. Dylan Hare breaking tackles and picking up 12 yards and a first down. Another big play for the Falcons. They need to get to the Lamar 5 to keep this drive alive. Hare back to pass on fourth down. Looks to the end zone. The man slipped and fell down, and that'll do it. The Falcons will turn the ball over on downs at the 10-yard line, as it looked like it might have been Adam Hall who was trying to do a turnout. Be sure, the senior quarterback, three-year starter. Is the brother of the head coach, Jared B. Shore. And on first down, they hand it to Ansley to uh, Will Height. And Will Height has the first down and a whole lot more as he gets out across the 25 to about the 29-yard line, give him an 18-yard gain. And so far, the running star for um, for uh, Lamar, let's see, uh, that was Terrell Davis. I'm sorry, Terrell Davis. Number Davis is in the wing to the right side as B. Shore takes the snap, trying to get out to the right side. Now tries to double back to the left side, and he's pulled down. There's a flag on the far end of the field. And we'll see what this is all about. Uh, great play made by Carson Lubering, who stayed at home as... We got a hold. Offense. Be sure tried to double back, and uh, Lubering made the tackle and uh, will also... This will move the ball back 10 yards and move it back to about the 19-yard line from right to left or left to right, and he just finds the angles and cuts up the field. Be sure on first and 10 from the 43-yard line of Lamar. Sets them down, moves the man in motion, and will run it to the left side. Falcons chase him and bring him down from behind, and it's Brady Kerperin running down the quarterback, Be sure from behind after a short game. The thumper. And the thumper didn't get ahead on that time, but I tell you what, he made a heck of a play. Hoyt double wing formation. Single receiver left, and they just hike it to B. Shore. B. Shore tries to start to the left and cut back to the right. The Falcons cut him down as it was Alec Weberg after a short gain out across the 45 to the 47 yard line. Give B. Shore a gain of four, and it will bring up now a third down and six. Big third down once again for the Falcon defense. Double wing formation, and we'll time out Jared B. Shore and the Lamar Tigers. 7.22 to go, second quarter. Lamar, seven, Blair Oaks, nothing on midmostsportsonline.com. Back to action, the Lamar Tigers will have it second down and third down now at about six from their own 47-yard line with 7.22 to go in the second quarter. Little no gain on this play. Now the Weaver man in motion, it's Will Hype, but they give back to the left side again, and this time good running room once again for Hong, and Hong gets out across the 40 to about the 43, but no more there as the Falcons are able to cut him down. It looked like Holden Brand on the tackle there for the Falcons after a gain of about six or seven yards on the play for Hong. Dylan Harris dropped back and to receive the punt. 
And that's Weberg looking at it go over his head. It rolls and rolls and rolls and goes through the end zone. As uh, it was a B shore who actually wound up punting through that ball nicely down the field. The Falcons are going to take a timeout here with 5.45 to play in the second quarter. It's Lamar 7, Blair Oaks nothing on MidmostSportsOnline.com. So the Falcons now will face a third down and eight from their own 22-yard line. Ball on the far hash mark as the Falcons go from left to right. Blackman is to the left of Hare. Tandem receivers to the left side. Hare looks it over. Moves Hall in motion from right to left. And Hare slant pattern quickly. We must work a tackle. 40, 50, 35, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Falcons! 78 yards to Alec Weaver. I think somebody said earlier about you slants. <laughs> <laughs> there it was. You know, that's the thing. Those little, you know, those drag routes, those slants. You know, there's been so many teams in college and pros. You know, I'm thinking of the greatest show in turf with the Rams that they do stuff like that. They, they can take those little slants or those drag, and you're, you got it. And the Falcons do not convert on the touchdown, but they get the touchdown at 534 to play in the second quarter. It's Lamar 7, Blair Oak 6 on MidmostSportsOnline.com. We'll return to Faro Field after this timeout. Ball on the far hash mark as Lamar goes from right to left in the second quarter of play. Wings to either side. As they have Wilkerson to the left, Davis to the right. Be sure the quarterback moves a man in motion from left to right, keeps it himself, trying off the left side, and he has popped as he got to the 40-yard line. Falcons popping down there, and uh, on the tackle, that was uh, Doug Blaha on the tackle after about a three-yard gain for Bishore. That's the best shot that the Falcons have had on Bishore yet today. As we look down on the field, it's first down and 10 for Lamar from the 30-yard line of Blair Oaks, and the Falcons get the fly sweep in the backfield. Brady Kerfer comes through and drops the running back. He drops the wide receiver, Ty Wilhite. Brady Kerfman was so ready to blitz on that that he got to the line and had to hop for a minute before the ball was snapped. He they deploy two receivers to the right side, single receiver left, double wing formation. B short takes the snap, wants to throw, quickly arches a pass to the near sidelines. The pass is going to be caught. No! No! Dropped at the two yard line. Googie went up inside of Klosser, had the ball for just a second, but wasn't able to bring it down. Third and 11 from the Falcon 31. And again, another big third down stop needed by this Falcon defense. Falcons look to blitz. Here they come. B short, swing pass, left side, has a man in space out to the 30 breaks the tackle to the 25 down the sidelines he's got the first down inside the 20 at the 19 yard line well you got a tackle man when you get him out there Lamar comes out in a wishbone first and 10 from the 19 yard line they turn and they hand off and they try to scrum a man forward and uh, they push the pile and they continue to push it but they say forward progress to the 17 yard line a gain of two yards on the play and let's see who uh, carried the football it looked like uh, that might have been Let's see, 25, I believe, on the carry. And that's what they're going for. So wishbone backfield, B. Shore with a minute 30 on the clock. Under center, B. Shore turns, and he's going to run the option to the left side. He's going to turn it up. He's going to die for the pylon. He's in. Touchdown, Lamar. B. Shore was able to reach out, got the pylon with the ball, and that goes for the touchdown. And B. Shore's 126 to play, second quarter. Lamar 14, Blair Oak 6 on MidmostSportsOnline.com. We'll return to Faro Field after this timeout. That's the wide side of the field as Hare is alone in the backfield. Hare looks it over. Takes the snap and drives forward, and he's got some running room out across the 45. Puts his head down, gets out to the 46. He's got the first down. Give him a gain of 11 yards. They give him forward progress to about the 47-yard line, and it's going to be enough for the first down for Dylan Hare, his best run of the afternoon. Best well, coverage we've seen all year. Hare on second down, rolls to his right, looking to pass. Throws the ball out into the flat. Has a man. It's Hall. The Hall is dragged down after just short yardage at about the 50-yard line. They'll give him the gain to the. 50 50 and Hall is still down. Adam stays down out here at the 50 yard line and that uh, that is not normal. And now Hall is going to get up and come back to clock has stopped with 53 seconds to go in the first half. 
Lamar leads 14 to 6. If they don't get this and give the ball back to Lamar with about 30 seconds left, it could be really big problems. Hair rolling to his left, sets and throws as Glosser goes deep again. Penalty flag comes down. It'll be in the defensive backfield. Let's see what this is going to be as the pass goes through Glosser's hands inside the 15 yard line. Flag came down around the Lamar 33. And let's see, this is going to be against Lamar, I believe. Well, we'll the see. officials are going to convene at the 30-yard line and talk about the flag that is down there at uh, the 33. Or they may wave this off. What is the call? And uh, the official will come out. And let's see what the call is. Two fouls on the defense. Holding. Pass interference against uh, against uh, Lamar. And Jared Boucher wants to know more. He is uh, irate. Clapping his hand. 17 seconds left to play in the first half. Falcons trailing Lamar 14 to 6. Left timeout Blair Oaks as they kill the play clock and take the timeout. So 17 seconds left. And uh, as we said, uh, the flags on the uh, on the goalposts uh, to our right are blowing to our right. <laughs> and uh, the flags on the goalposts to our left are blowing to our left. So it looks so, like, so both teams will have the win no matter what. <laughs> so but that's is, what I'm saying. I think I think Dylan on a couple of those passes to get the ball down there. Fourth down and 10 from the 36-yard line. Here in an empty backfield. Moves a man in motion from left to right. Off play action. Here dances back to pass. Throws it deep down the middle again. Looking for Klosser. Touchdown! Falcons! Nick Klosser didn't drop that one. Got behind the secondary and Hare was right on target with that one. And the Falcons get back on the scoreboard with 10 seconds left to play in the first half. Dylan Hare just Nick Klosser from 36 yards out in the Falcons. So with 10 seconds left to play in the second quarter, it's Lamar 14, Blair Oaks 12. On MidmostSportsOnline.com will return to Faroe Field after this timeout. Nolan Laughlin kicking off for the Falcons. Kicks it high end over end and it will go downfield and it will be picked off by Lamar back at the 15 to the 20 to the 25 30 to the 35 out to the 40 yard line but there's just three seconds left now in the first half of play Falcons have to guard against the Hail Mary here Lamar, but uh, yeah Lamar takes a knee and that will do it for the first half of play it's Lamar 14 the Blair Oaks Falcons 12 the class 2 state championship game from Faro Field championship on the line and it is everything we thought it might be except for high scoring the Falcons trail the Tigers by two points as we go to halftime in Columbia. As you're listening to the Class 2 State Championship football game on MidmostSportsOnline.com, we'll return to Columbia and Furrow Field after this timeout.
Falcons are back on the field. They are ready, getting ready to go. The officials are ready to go as well. Very windy day here in mid-Missouri, although the wind seems to be abating somewhat. And uh, really, uh, that's another thing, another point. Uh, Dylan Hare has looked very comfortable throwing into the wind and throwing with the wind. Um, he, once he gets his, his bearings down, uh, he, he's just uh, he's just completed the five passes all game long. But I think he's going to be throwing a lot more in the second half. Well, as we talked about, it looks like because the the flags on top of the goalpost, you know, the ones at the left left side are blowing to the left, and the ones at the right side of the field are blowing to the right. So the wind, you know, you can only assume the wind is swirling a bit. And I think Dylan was actually he's had probably more passes that got dropped today than yeah. anything. Mm -hmm. uh, and there were some big ones too. There was the one in the back of the end zone that Klosser couldn't come down with. There was that one where Joey Wildy was 10, 15 yards beyond everybody and was wide open, and it just went through his hands. He couldn't catch it. But uh, there were really only about two or three passes I can think of, and that was, you know, was right before they scored their second touchdown where it looked like Dylan was having trouble figuring out exactly, you know, the, you know how he had to throw it. You know, too hard, too soft, too high, whatever. And it looked like the wind might have taken it, and he overthrew a couple of players. But... Uh, you know, so far, it's been a good game. Uh, penalties haven't really been that big. Uh, you know, I, I really don't think there have been that many penalties. Falcons have been penalized twice for 15 yards. Uh, Lamar has been penalized five times for 55 yards. Of course, the big one was when, on that fourth down play, when they uh, were guilty of two infractions, and the Falcons took the personal foul, or excuse me, the uh, pass interference penalty, and that allowed them to get down the field and, get, and finally get that, that second touchdown. Touchdown, but uh, the official is talking to uh, Nolan Laughlin. Nolan Laughlin, as he gets the ball down, and they start the second half. And once again, the voice of the Falcons, Dick Aldridge. Laughlin kicks it high and deep into the wind, and it's taken over on the far sidelines at the 10 yard line. And coming back with his kiss, and he's cut down at the 25 yard line. Bryson Varner does an extra little somersault after he makes the tackle with Kish, diving at his ankles and cutting him down at the 25 yard line over the far Just want to say really quick on that. And at uh, kickoff return, I think that's the that's the best return or uh, coverage return coverage the Falcons have had on a kickoff today. And on first down, Joel Bishore, the senior quarterback, calls the signals, moves a man in motion on the play action, keeps it himself, and he's got good running room as he gets second level out across the 30-yard line to about the 31-yard line, give him a gain of six yards on first down. That time they sent the uh, receiver in motion across. The he is their feature back. He's carried the ball more than any other running back for. Lamar this year. Rings to either side on second down and four from the 36-yard line. They move a man in motion, fake it to him, and b -Shore bounces it to the outside of the left side. He is hit and hammered back. He's going to be very close to the first down. Jace Racker is coming up from the secondary, knocking b -Shore back. A nice pop that time and a gain on the play of about five yards. It's going to bring up a third down now and very short. Get the first downs. Keep the Falcon offense which is so dangerous. Keep it off the uh, off the field and just wear down that defense. Be sure trying to run to the left side this time. He's run down from behind, and guess who? Brady Kirpin comes through for the middle linebacking spot. Be sure tried to get it around the left side. They were running student body left that time, and and uh, Kirpin just came in from behind and dropped Be sure. And there's a bunch of them here. And that's for sure. A couple thousand easily over on the far side. Big third down, third and eleven. Be sure out of the shotgun takes the snap, hands off inside, running Davis with it, and Davis. This is a scrambling his way outside. And boy, they gave him a heck of a spot out across the 35 to uh, across the 45 to the 48. From the 49, Bishore on the long count. Looks it over now. And a timeout. Jared Bishore of Lamar. 8.43 to go. Third quarter. Lamar 14, Blair Oaks 12 on MidmoSportsOnline.com. We'll return to Faro Field after this timeout. Crowd the line of scrimmage again. They move the man in motion to the right side and hand off to the deep back who is in and he's not going to get it. He is driven down well short of the first down yardage and the Falcons have withstood Lamar and he got a heck of a spot. I don't know if he got it. I don't, but uh, if he if he did, the officials gave him this one because he, Davis was at no point anywhere close to the 50 yard line. Falcons turned him sideways and threw him down. It's going to be short. 
but we'll see. They're chill. They will stretch the chains. He had to get just to the 50-yard line, and the ball is short of the 50, and he is short of the first down. The Falcons get it back at the midfield stripe. What a great play by the Blue Ridge Falcons. That's a big play, Ed. Yeah, it is, and that's what they needed. And you're right, Dick. They, he, he got nowhere near. He got now a big third down and nine. Well, we've seen him pull off some big plays before on third and fourth downs. We'll see if they can get this one. Wing to the left, three receiver to the left. Single receiver right. They need follow motion out to the left side. And here's the kick left side. He's got the first down to the 40. Look out. 25, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. I've seen that play too many times over the last four years from the old ankle breaker. Once he got into the second level, there was nobody who was going to catch him. It's Lackman behind him now from the two-yard line. Lackman in motion out to the right side. Harris going to run it to the left side, trying to get to the pylon. Left side cuts it back and goes into the end zone for the two-point conversion. Falcons come down the field and get eight points. And with 7.58 to go in the third quarter, Blair Oaks 20, Lamar 14 on MidmoSportsOnline.com. on MidmoSportsOnline.com, and that is your Echo Water scoring drive summary as Laughlin kicks the ball deep. Kish takes it inside the five-yard line, out to the 10 to the 20, trying to come back across the field. He is wrapped up, and he is going to go down. Pringer's got him back about the 10-yard line, and the officials say uh, they hope they get blew it down. Yeah, they did. The referee was looking like it had not been blown dead, but Pringer wrapped him up about the 18-yard line, threw him all the way back to the 10, and was do -si -do going with him back there, and they finally blew the whistle and give him forward progress to the 18-yard line. The score would have been a little sketchy here today. Second down and six. They move a man in motion from right to left and hand off to the left side. Davis. Davis beats a man in the backfield, now turns it up and is cut down, but he's going to get the first down inside Blair Oaks territory to the 44-yard line. The Falcons had a shot at him in the backfield, and I think it might have been uh, uh, Bennett who had a shot at him in the backfield. Parker Bennett, who got through the line of scrimmage, Bring, bring the rest of the guys in. Be sure, out of the empty backfield, moves Will Hyde over to the right side. Tandem receivers to the right side, double wing formation, out of the shotgun. Be sure takes the snap and he wants to throw. Pump and go, down the middle of the field. Looking, 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 has a man in his caught by Gugli. It's going to be a touchdown. Touchdown, Lamar, as that was a 44-yard pass from Be sure to Gugli, who got behind Klosser, and Klosser couldn't catch him. And Ian Gugli has a touchdown, and we're tied with 4.53 to go in the third quarter. Juarez to kick it. It is high enough. It is long enough. And Lou the Toad Rosa drives it through. 4.53 to go in the third quarter. It is Lamar 21, Boy Oaks 20 on MidmoSportsOnline.com. Hash mark as the Falcons go from left to right. Line of scrimmage is the 32-yard line. Hare in single safety in the backfield. Throws it to the near side, has a man open. And this is Klosser. Klosser outside of the 40 to the 44-yard line. Enough for the first down. Nick Klosser having a good ball game here this afternoon as uh, he takes it out to the 12, uh, takes it out for 12 yards. Facing a third nine from their own 45, and they really need, I know I sound like I'm bleeding, but they really need to get something here because you don't want to give it back and get down by two scores again. There to you the go. 45, Hare quickly to the Got inside. Him. Here's a man. It's going to be caught by Weber for the first down. Inside Lamar territory at the 43-yard line and a gain of 12 yards and a first down. Well, if your receiver drops the ball, come the old saying is you go right back to him. Falcons first and 10 from the Lamar 43 on the near hash mark. Hare turns, hands to Lackman. Hayden drives up the middle, gets to about the 45 before he's folded back, but give him a gain of four yards as the clock continues to run. 3.40 to go in the third quarter from the 43-yard line of Lamar. Hare looks to the side. Lines. Play clock is at seven. Dylan calls for the snap. Back to pass. Looking to his left. Throws quickly underneath. Incomplete. Uh, Paul Flag comes in at the 30-yard line. And we're going to have pass interference coming up against Lamar, I believe, as Falcons trail 21-20. 
Hare moves a man in motion. It's Klosser across the formation to the left, and the handoff to Nick. Nick gets to the corner, and he is bumped out of bounds and thrown out of bounds as he gets outside the 20. In the fourth, the third quarter, 21-20, Lamar with the lead. Falcons took the lead on their last drive. Lamar came back and retook the lead. Call on the wing to the right side. Hare takes the snap, looking to his left and throws. Has a man. It's going to be a first down. Closser inside the 15 to about the 14-yard line. Beat his man to the corner. And it is going to be about a 10-yard gain in the first down for the fourth quarter. Second down and nine. Hare off play action. Hands it to Hall. Hall on the jet sweep. Gets around the left side. He's got good yardage inside the 10, down to about the 8-yard line. Yeah, that was a nice play. And gave him a gain of about six. Six yards on the play. Yeah, you need to get to the five. Well, this is two down territory for Blair Oaks. Absolutely. Going into a strong wind. 106 to play, the third quarter. Clock is stopped from the far hash mark. Hare takes the snap, runs to his right, now cuts it back, has running into the five, puts his head down, he's stood up, and uh, he will be scrummed forward, but they're going to mark him down at the two yard line. They give him forward progress to the two yard line. They did scrum him into the end zone. So Tyler Bax is in with the wishbone. Kerperin, the fullback from the two yard line. Bax dropped the football and got on it at the two yard line. You can almost predict that. A freshman quarterback goes in and the ball went through his hands and to the ground and he was able to fall on it back at the two yard line. So the uh, Falcons are gonna let the third quarter elapse here. And uh, we have high drama at Faroe Field. We are through three quarters in the Class 2 state championship football game. It's Lamar 21, Blair Oaks 20 on MidmostSportsOnline.com. We will return to Faroe Field in Columbia after this timeout. Kirpin the fullback in with Bryson Varner and Lackman. Hare hands to Lackman, dances outside, puts his head down, got to about the three, and that was it. Not much there as Lackman tried to follow the blocking over the left. As uh, Klosser and Falcons timeout Weber come in, and a timeout for the Falcons. 11.23 to go. We'll keep it here in the fourth quarter. Lamar 21, Blair Oaks 20. The Falcons knocking on the door, but it is fourth down and goal to go from the two-yard line. And I think they hoped that by giving it to uh, Blackman that he could pop it outside and maybe, you know, dive into the end zone. But uh, good work by the Tigers as they were able to uh, pretty much stay at home and just clog everything up. But uh, we'll see what uh, the Falcons can uh, unclog things here and get, get the necessary two yards to get the ball into the end zone and retake this lead with 11-23 left to go in the game. Falcons trail by one point. Hair out of the shotgun. Lackman to his right. Tanner receivers to the left. Ball on the near hash mark. Lieber by himself over on the right side. Has man-to-man -man coverage. Hair runs it to his right. Cuts it back down the middle. Touchdown! Falcons! Dylan Hare the end zone from two yards out. That was a Dylan Hare classic as he took a couple of creeping steps to the right then. Threw it into gear and down the middle of the field he came into the end zone and the Falcons are back on the scoreboard and take the lead back at 11.20 to go. 11.20 to go. Third, fourth quarter. Blair Oaks 26. Lamar 21 on MidmostSportsOnline.com will return to Faroe Field in Columbia and the Class 2 State Championship ball game after this timeout. After the Falcon offense Got the lead again for Blair Oaks. Falcon defense uh, needs to tighten things up because last time they allowed the Tigers to go down the field 82 yards of six plays to retake the lead. From the 41-yard line on the far hash mark as Lamar goes from left to right. Bishaw in the shotgun. Fakes the give to Will Height and keeps it himself. And Bishaw drags a tackler forward out to about the 45-yard line as it was Parker Bennett, the defensive tackle, holding on for dear life and pulled down the quarterback after about a four-yard our game. That is 18 carries now for Joel Bishore as uh, we've had quite a duel between the quarterbacks of each team. Yeah, and he'd have even bigger numbers if uh, a couple of those drops would have uh, been caught. Bishore on second down and six. Hands off the inside to Davis. Davis trying to get around the corner. Falcons pulling down. A very short gain, about a yard on the play. Once again, Brady Kirpin flowing out from the middle linebacking position. Runs the man down as he approached the far sideline. And it will now bring up a third down and about six. 
Davis. And, uh, I don't think anybody's threatened them. I think they've won every game by at least 20 points. And in a tight game, you get down to this situation in the fourth quarter. The Falcons have been here. The Falcons know how to respond. You know, and then it becomes, well, how's your opponent going to do it? Is he going to is he going to wilt? Is he going to crack under pressure? And right now, we need the Falcons to come up with a big play. Well, here is a pass down the far sideline. The pass going to be intercepted. Not the, uh, 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 not down, I should say. By, I thought it was. By Closser <laughs> at the 30-yard line as he beat his man to the corner. Must have been this far away. <laughs> so are they going to go for it here on fourth down? Well, I don't know. So they're they're going to punt. And they get it away. The Falcons dive in, try to get it, and they kick it away. And Weberg got it back in his own 20 trying to get to the far sidelines, and he'll skitter out of bounds across the 25 at about the 27-yard line, and that's where the Falcons will take over. They punt, a very rare punt by Lamar, and so the Falcon defense holds serve. Let's see what the Falcon offense can do. On second down, the fake toss, and now down the middle of the field. Has a man, it's caught by Weaver, 40, 25, 30, 25, 20. He's going to score! Touchdown, Falcons! The Swami calls it again. <laughs> As it was Weaver getting behind the secondary, he goes down the field and scores. 72 yards for the touchdown. Alec Weaver has caught four passes a day for 170 yards by my calculation. He's throwing in this horrible wind and it's been a in and out day for Dylan Hare, but he has all his completions 252 yards. And the Falcons take a 32-21 lead with 8.39 to play in the ball game. Laughlin on, and this time you're going to try the extra point. Let's see if the Falcons can block this time. They didn't the last time, and Laughlin got the kick blocked. So here comes Noah out. Folks to the death from the 30-yard line of the near hash mark for Lamar, and the Tigers will take over first down and 10, trailing 32-21. to 21. Tanner receivers to the left side. Be sure in the backfield. Hands off to Davis. He is hit in the backfield. He's pulled down! Pulled down! In the backfield for a loss back in the 20 yard line. And it's that 14-year-old freshman, the 14-year-old freshman, Carson Lubering. And the loss of the way of eight yards. He's 14, darn it. <laughs> That's what his mom says. He's 14. Double wing formation. Googie wide to the left side. Single receiver wide right. Double wing formation. Be sure. Takes the snap. Runs to his left. Falcons kind of hem him in, but he's going to get him into the secondary. And he's going to be pulled down out of midfield. Big run there by B. Shore as uh, he's going to get 16 yards in the first down. The Falcons turned him back to the inside. No matter who wins, it'll be the last football game, but boy, they are putting on a show today. Be sure, first and ten from the 50-yard line. Moves a man in motion, a handoff to Will Height. Will Height, he's going to throw the ball deep down the middle. Googie's wide open, and this is going to be a touchdown. Touchdown Lamar with 7.06 to go in the fourth quarter, and they go to their bag of tricks, and Will Height will throw the touchdown pass. A touchdown pass of 50 yards from Will Height. Will Height to Googie. Three receivers tight to the right side as Bishore rolls to his right, and he's looking, 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 throws it down the middle of the field. The pass is incomplete. Missed Wilkerson at about the three-yard line. 7.06 to play fourth quarter. Blair Oaks 32, Lamar 27 on MidmoSportsOnline.com. We'll return to Furrow Field after this timeout. Turn stances here, and uh, this uh, will be driven along the ground. It hit a Falcon in the chest, but they dive on it at the 42 yard line. Man, that was a line drive. They hit one of the linemen right in the, between the numbers, and they fell on it. 635. Falcons lead 32 27. Hare on second down slant pattern, and it's too high for Will. Mm, if, if he could have kept that low. Too high for that Weaver. time for Alex Weber. I would expect him to punt, and he does, and he gets it away. Nobody back for Lamar as the ball hits and goes sideways. They put the ball down, they'll mark it at the 26 of Lamar, and back come the Tigers, trailing by five. Line of scrimmage will be their own 26. 
91 yards on nine carries for Davis. You're right, Dick. It's number 66. On second down, be sure. Pitches wide left to Wilkerson. Wilkerson cuts it up. And he's pulled down a big tackle. He got some yardage on the play, but Brady Kirpin made a key tackle out at the 33-yard line. And he misses. Wilkerson's gone. Five carries, 27 yards now for Wilkerson. Clock continues to run, 5.18 to play fourth quarter. Falcons lead 32-27, third and four from the far hash mark at the 34-yard line of Lenar. Be sure, hands off. Wilkerson's got the first down as he goes in over left guard and tackle. The Falcons pull him down, but not until Wilkerson gets out to the 40-yard line. They're in a wishbone. Misha, under center, turns and they hand to Wilkerson. Wilkerson dances to his left, puts his head down, powers out across the 45 to the 47-yard line. Falcons knock him down there. It was Klosser coming up from the secondary. He, and the Falcons need, a, need some kind of defensive stop here. They're loading it up in the box. And they hand off. And here goes the running back. He's in the clear. He's to the 35-30. And he's pulled down the 25-yard line. A gain of 20 yards as they hand it off. And that was Cooper Hahn in the lineup. And a gain of 20 yards in the fourth quarter of this ball game. And what a ball game it has been. Out of the wishbone one more time. Bishore looks it over, letting the play clock run down from the 25-yard line. And they turn, and they hand it Davis, and Davis is into the backfield, and the Falcons finally get him down. A gain of about a yard in the play. Bryson Varney, the first man through there on the tackle, and uh, getting up first off the bottom of the scrum. And uh, once again, that is a Carson Lubrin. Looks like he only picked up a yard. So this time they split the backs in the backfield. Two backs in the backfield. Bishore moves a man in motion to the left side. And they run up the left side to Wilkerson. He breaks a tackle. Second level to the 20-yard line. Got five yards on the play. That time they brought Dale Pena in motion from the wing on the right side. And the big guy got out in front. And Brady Kirpern had to make the tackle for the Falcons after a gain of about five yards on the play. So 2.34 clock running, fourth quarter. Third down at about four now. They need to get it just inside the 16-yard line. Wishbone backfield. De La Pena is the fullback. He is a lineman. They're wearing number 66. Bishore under center. He's going to run it himself. Student body left. Falcons missed the tackle, and they pull him down. He's got the first down at the 15-yard line. Falcons missed the tackle in the backfield, couldn't bring him down. 6-16 to go. They've taken four minutes off the clock, and this will be the 10th play of this drive. From the nine-yard line. Oh, oh, Lamar jumped. Sturgill was in there as one of the tight ends on the right side. Lamar knocking on the door. We need a big stand here for the Falcons. This reminds me of the Cameron ball game back oh, in 2004. Oh, definitely. They're just pleading one more stop, boys. One, one more, more stop. stop. One more big stop. One turnover. From the 19-yard line. Let that ball loose. First down at 15 from the wishbone. Bishow under center. Turns and has to roll Wilkerson over the left side. Pile drives his way inside the 20 to about the 16-yard line. And... Uh, that will be about a four-yard gain, and it'll bring up second down now at about 12. Under two minutes to play. Second down, 12. Bishaw under center. Turns, runs the option right, pushes it deep to Davis. He cuts back, and the Falcons pull him down back at the 16-yard line. Brady Kirpin. How many tackles has he made? About 100 this afternoon? I don't know, but it's yeah, six at halftime, right? Yeah, he's had 12 after three quarters. So <laughs> six, six unassisted and six assisted. Minute 22 to go. We're too old for this stuff, oh, man. Baby. <laughs> we wanted a good one, and we've had it. This has been a classic from the 16-yard line. Running the option, be sure. Looks like he wants to pass. He gets hit down the sidelines. He steps out of bounds. Back at this 17-yard line, he lost a yard on the play. The Falcons pursued him out of bounds, and guess who? It was Kirpern again. Right. Jason Bishore out of bounds. It looked like Bishore wanted to throw it into the end zone. And the Falcons were able to get to him and flush him. And he lost a yard on the play. Okay, here. Here's Timeout. By Lamar with a minute six to play. Here's Fourth down. Fourth down and 12. From the Falcons 17. They can still get a first down if they get it to the five-yard line. But... Uh, 
a ball game. What a ball game. It's not often you get ball games like this. This has been just a classic. No matter what you could say. Well, everybody, everybody pointed the fact that they thought of all the championship games last weekend, this weekend, that this was going to be the best one. That's the real time. And, uh, but this one is every bit as good. Fourth down from the 17-yard line. Near hash mark. Be sure out of the wish belt. Be sure wants to throw. Rolling to his right. Looks back to his left. Look out, Chase. Look out, Falcons get him. Back on the 25-yard line. And a penalty flag comes in. Penalty oh. flag comes in. Did they face mask him? Did they face mask him? Is that giving him the ball back? Back at the 25-yard line. It, it must be. It was a face mask. Back at the 25, and they're going to get the ball back with 59 seconds left. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Carson Lubering was in there on the tackle, and he's getting up very gingerly. It looks like he might be hurt. But the Falcons face masked. And I think Carson's got a cramp as Blaha's working on him. But this is going to be an automatic first down. Oh. Face masked him. Oh. At least that was the call. Five yard. It's a five yarder. Five yarder, but it's going to be a, is it automatic first down or is it another fourth down play? I, th I, I don't know. The, the chains has not, have not changed. It still says fourth down. So this may be fourth down. Lamar gets okay. the ball back and tries another fourth down from the 20-yard line. Okay. From the 20-yard line. Our man's coming off. Yeah, Lubin trying to get off the field now. As Lamar runs up to the line of scrimmage. Oh, the Falcons in the backfield. Wings to either side. From the near hash mark. Be sure back to pass. Middle screen. And Wilkerson's going towards the end zone. And he's pulled down inside the five. But it's going to be enough for the first down. Where are they going to mark him down? Inside the five at the four-yard line. Oh, my. What a call. That was a good call. What a call. But wait a second. Now the officials are talking. What are they talking about? Where are they going to mark him down? Penalty oh, flag. There was a flag. On whom? The legal man downfield against Lamar. Oh, my oh, goodness. No, not again. Oh, my stars in heaven. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I mean, you know, they, they ran the middle screen, and sometimes that'll happen. Oh, no. Oh, wow. <laughs> Fourth down and 20. Come on. Let's see if the Falcons got one more stop in them. This time, no penalties, all right? Oh, man. 32-27, Blair Oaks, 47 seconds to play in the fourth quarter. Time out, Lamar. Time out, Lamar. They take their last time out. We're not going anywhere. We hope you don't go anywhere either. As we have record numbers watching right at the moment, and uh, they're they're actually listening to the uh, they're actually listening to the play-by-play -play here. And we want to thank everybody who's joined us here this afternoon. What a football game! Falcons lead 32-27, 47 seconds left, fourth quarter. Here's the situation. Fourth. Here we go. Fourth down, 20 from the 25-yard line. Be sure. Alone in the backfield, double wings. Be sure back to pass. He sets. He looks down the middle of the field. The pass is caught. It's going to be short of the first down. It's incomplete. It's incomplete. Flores Falcons will win the state championship. Pass is down. In. The pass hit the ground at about the seven-yard line. They needed to get it inside the five. And the Falcons take over with one time out for Lamar, I think it says, and 40 seconds to play. Oh. Holy, holy formation. And they take the snap and sit down. And this will do it. And I don't know if Lamar's going to take the time out. They're not going to. Oh. The, hugs, the hugs and handshakes have it started. Heads and the Royals Falcons have won the 2022 Show Me Bowl. Final score, Blair Oaks 32, Lamar 27. On MidmoSportsOnline.com, start the celebration. Wardsville and Jefferson City on the far sidelines. I look, and Dylan Hare is kneeling on the sidelines. He cannot believe this game is over. Dylan Hare, what a way, what a way to end his high school football career. And you got to give it to this. I've said all along, this, this, this Blair Oaks defense, they came in young. They looked, they looked a little shaky in that first game against Maryville. But I, I, it was like, keep the faith, baby. They kept getting better. They had some hiccups today, but they came through when it, when it counted. And Dylan Hare, as he has 
for four years comes through when he can't, when he needs needs to. But hey, first off, let's hats off to the Lamar Tigers. This is Dick mentioned the Cameron game. This might be this might have beat it as the best high school uh, championship game we've ever seen. <laughs> Oh, that one with Clayton back in 04 was pretty good too, but yeah. wow, what a game, what a game. Uh, underestimating the Falcon defense, saying that uh, Dylan Hare is only successful because of the system. Well, I'll tell you what, as an old fan of the St. Louis Rams and the uh, and Kurt Warner and all that, I heard that for years too. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, there, there's just something to be said. You know, these young men go out here and play, and, and I'm talking about both sides now, and they give it their all, and boy, everybody that uh, showed up to watch this game, including the people in the press box, the people helping out along the sideline, they saw a dandy. This was supposed to be the best game of all the of all the championship games in the Show Me Bowl. And uh, well, all I know is the Blair Oaks Falcons showed everybody. A great moment just at midfield as both teams knelt down uh, in the uh, Tiger at uh, midfield. Uh, both teams together. Uh, you know, Lamar and, and Blair Oaks, uh, both teams together, a lot of them with arms around each other. And uh, they just knelt for a quick word. And uh, now the uh, trophy presentation, the thousands of Blair Oaks fans over on the far sidelines, the green wave. Baby, they came in their numbers today. And uh, they took over the east side stands here this afternoon out to Ferrell Field at the right time. And uh, the leader, they give out the uh, trophy to the uh, Blair Falcons now at midfield. They jump around. Uh, what, a, what a scene this is uh, for the victory here this afternoon. 32 to 27. The Blair Oaks Falcons finish a perfect 14 and 0 this season and the state champions in class two. And uh, you know, the Blue Oaks Falcons aren't supposed to be able to do this. They aren't supposed to be able to do that. They're, they weren't well, supposed to win the championship. They, they, have, a, they have a poor defense. They, they, don't, they, you know, they don't have enough offense to win. They, they don't play a good schedule. They don't do this. Yeah. It's over, baby. And we freaking won the state championship. Yeah. Shut also, up, everybody. Also, <laughs> I know the boys from... Uh, 2012 were feeling good too because they, 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 were, they were really rooting for the Falcons to pull this one off since they had lost to Lamar back then. But you're right, Dick. December 2nd, believe it or not, last year, and set the goals and expectations. And we talked about it this morning before we take the trip up here. The goal was what? And I went around to each one of these guys sitting up here plus the other seniors, and they all said, stay champs. I said, we're not going to, we're not going to be up there to take second. And so I almost get emotional because, man, it was a hard offseason. And these dudes just were relentless and relentless all year. And I thought, what a what a tribute to these young men. Dylan, what was it? Uh, you know, they got a couple of turnovers on Lamar first, a couple of turnovers on Dallas in the first half. What was it about that pass play with, with Alec that got you all going? What did you see on that play? And, and did you feel like that really made a difference going forward offensively? Uh, yeah, he was one on one. And all the backers were inside, so he just had a giant uh, gap. He was like, yeah, I can beat him inside. So, through it, and yes, it was a big game changer, and I think it got our offense going. I mean, say one of your best games for last, a couple of really long touchdown passes. I mean, yeah. again, I know this team has four or five different receivers you can throw the ball to. What does it mean to you to, to step up in a big game like this and have those two catches? Uh, it was my last year. I figured go out of the bank. They're, they're real talkers, by the way. <laughs> uh, Holden, if you want to ask somebody a question, ask Holden. <laughs> I was going to say, Holden, okay, so talk, talk to me. You're, you're quarterback in the defense. What are you all talking about on that last drive, especially when Lamar is getting like seven, nine yards of, of play, and all of a sudden they're, they're inside the red zone? I was just telling my guy, I said, look, we didn't, we didn't practice all year to go out on something like this. We're going to step up, we're going to make a play. And then they got him behind the chains and then the penalties, and I said, all right, this is it. We're making a play. It happened, and then. I, w I couldn't think of any other, any better way to end the season than that. Especially after last year, people telling us how oh, we can't play defense. We come out, we, we play some defense this year. Don't you express what it means to, you know, played obviously the last game of Blair and uniform. What does it mean to you? Well, it's awesome, especially playing with my best friends, starting off like football, fourth grade, just having our last game together means a lot.
Dayton, you're, uh, as you mentioned, you're a three-year starter in the old line. You closed out your senior year at the state championship. How'd you keep your how you keep your front line just all working together and as a team? How'd you be a leader in that regard? Uh, we know every day that we need to punish and protect, and I think all our guys get behind that and they know their jobs and we know what we have to do and we just execute. So the Blair Oaks Falcons win it here this afternoon by the score of 32-27. to We'll be back to take a look at the scoring in this afternoon's ballgame as uh, we start to wrap things up here from Faro. But the Blair Oaks Falcons are the 2022 Class 2 state champions. And you heard it all on MidmostSportsOnline.com. We will return to Faro Field in Columbia after this timeout.